Ginger and Steve's latest travel adventure was to Cappadocia, a region in central Turkey. Cappadocia is a world heritage site. It's best known for its unique rock formations with caves and underground cities that have been carved into the soft volcanic rock. This map shows where the Cappadocia region is located. We flew on Turkish Airlines from Miami to Istanbul, which was a 12 and a half hour flight. And then we flew on a smaller plane to the town of Nevisur, Nevisur. The fairy chimneys were created when a soft layer of volcanic ash, known as tuff, was overlaid by a, a layer of hard basalt rock. And the basalt cap protected the soft volcanic tuff from erosion by wind and water, and you get the fairy chimneys and these other bizarre rock formations. Over the past 3,000 years, um, people such as the Hittites and the Persians and the Romans and then the early Christians have carved homes and churches and even underground cities into the volcanic rock. So here's one of the underground cities that they found. A large rock formation called the Uchisar Castle where there's hundreds of rooms and passageways that have been carved into the rock. So this is the town of Gourmet at night. We rented a car at the airport in Nevisa here, and we drove late at night to the town of Gourmet where we stayed in a cave for three nights. It was almost midnight by the time we arrived at our hotel after a long day of traveling, and thankfully Google Maps worked great leading us to the small town and then up the narrow one-way streets to our hotel. Our hotel was built around several of these fairy chimneys and that had caves carved into them. So we, we stayed in one of these caves, but it was provided with a few modern conveniences, really nicely decorated and a few modern conveniences. Every morning before sunrise, if the winds are low enough, more than 200 hot air balloons launch and float through the bizarre rock formations and the fairy chimneys of Cappadocia. So our cave hotel was at the highest point in town, so we had a great view of the balloon launch uh, on the first morning. We had booked our balloon ride for the second morning, because we uh, knew since we'd be getting late at night, it wasn't a good idea to be getting up at four in the morning for, for the, our balloon ride. So we scheduled ours for the second morning, which was Ginger's birthday. So this is Ginger's birthday card. When you blow out the candle after the music stops, then the fireworks go off. So on the morning of Ginger's birthday, the winds were too high, and it was raining, so the Turkish Civil Air Authority canceled all of the balloon flights for that day. So we had to book a new balloon ride for the next day, which is when we were going to fly back to Istanbul, but we had a few hours in the morning. So we spent the day exploring the town of Gourmet and the surrounding area. And you can see uh, here there's one of these minarets for a mosque where they do the uh, call to prayer five times each day. So I took this video from the upper deck of our hotel overlooking the town, and you can hear the call to prayer in the background. And you can see what the terrain looks like in the uh, vicinity of our hotel.
when it stopped raining, we, we drove around and hiked to a couple of overlooks where we could look down on a place called Love Valley and then the town of Gourmet. So the day after Ginger's birthday, our day started at 4 in the morning for our balloon ride. They picked us up at our hotel and they took us to the launch area for our flight on Air Cappadocia. We climbed into the basket. The uh, burners on our balloon sounded like a dragon breathing fire and we started to float upwards. And here you can see some of the other balloons as they started to, uh, to launch. So during the one hour flight, to make it more exciting, the pilots will go up and down and they'll drop down into the valleys and then barely clear the ridges to give us a good view. So in this video, it looked like our balloon was on a collision course with a, a large ferry chimney. So you're going to hear the pilot say, RMS Titanic. So this was his, his joke as we approach the iceberg and then we barely go around. It was really fun to watch how they land the balloons, which they land them right onto the trailers. The trucks that are pulling the trailers zoom around to get into position and then the pilot drops some ropes down from the balloon as it gets low and a bunch of guys pull the balloon basket down onto the trailer. So after we landed, they had a champagne toast, and they gave us all flight certificates, and then they took us back to our hotel. So right after our flight, we checked out of the hotel and drove back to the Nevsahir airport and turned in the rental car, and we flew to Istanbul. And we had a ho hotel right near the uh, Hagia Sophia and the, the Blue Mosque. So the one hour taxi ride from the airport to our hotel was really wild. I mean, these, these taxi drivers are really crazy. And many times he was just within inches of another car at high speed and jumping in and out of traffic. And it was really something, lots of uh, yelling and honking and horn gestures or uh, hand gestures. So the night before we flew home, we went and had a nice dinner at the top floor of a hotel with beautiful views of the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. And we had planned to spend much of the next day exploring parts of Istanbul. We had been there 20 years earlier. But Steve was having some health issues with his, his heart beating heavy and fast in his chest and pain in his leg that made it difficult to walk. And I was really worried. So... We took a taxi back to the airport and tried to get an earlier flight back to Miami. So we were not able to get on an earlier flight. 
So we ended up spending, oh, this is the Blue Mosque. We ended up spending 14 hours in the uh, Turkish Airlines business class lounge. The good news is that they had great food and it was really plush and there was some recliners and but uh, 14 hours waiting waiting for our next flight. So we then flew back to uh, Miami on a 787 Dreamliner, another 12 and a half hour flight, and we each had a pod with seats that lie flat and great food and a bit of luxury. So here's Ginger and in her uh, the queen's throne so we landed in miami at 7 a.m on the day that hurricane helene was moving up the west coast of florida and just a couple of hours after we arrived home after a four-hour drive from miami the winds and the rain started our house in our neighborhood did not have any serious damage from the hurricane. We, we had 40, 40 some mile an hour winds and a little bit of uh, um, water. We did have some minor street flooding and we lost power for seven hours, but otherwise the neighborhood turned out in, in uh, pretty good shape. And that's our adventure in Cappadocia.